Okay, hello YouTube. Today's uh, video is about replacing the trunk latch on a 2017 Kia Forte. This is probably going to work on 2012 through 2018. Um, it's super easy. There's only two bolts um, right here and right there. They're 10 millimeter. You just take those out and there's other videos actually showing you hands-on but that's all there is to it two 10 millimeter bolts take that out you'll unplug this um, the plug that goes in it there's just a button on the side it's really easy unlike some of the light bulbs are really hard to push the push in on this one's really easy it's intuitive you'll just push it in it'll pop right out the uh, the wire, as you'll see here, it gets held in right here, and then the end of it goes in here. The only thing about this is you just hook it uh, in here first before you slide it down to lock it into place. So... Um, like I said, there's other videos showing it. What I wanted to tell you was I went to Amazon to get the part. And if you read the reviews, if you're not careful, you'll get one. You'll get one of these. And it may even look exactly like this. Um, let me put that back on. But when you really read the reviews, what you'll find out is the uh, here it is the actuator in there the motor that allows your keyless entry to actuate and open the trunk remotely there won't be anything in it there'll be no motor so be careful about that especially if you go to amazon to buy it i'm going to put a link in the description Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description to the link on Amazon.com um, to this item because, look, the ones that have no motor in there, in that round area, those are $22, and this one, I think, was $23, and it does have the motor. This currently is flagged as Amazon's choice. If you use, you know, the normal things to search for it, when it pulls up, you'll see this is the Amazon choice, which is good because it does come with it. It's only a dollar more. And again, be careful because if you get too hung up on searching for the actuator or remote wireless, you'll find parts that are 50 and $60. But here's the where they saved money. This part, I can't recall, I think in the photo it shows this. It actually shows this piece with the glow-in-the-dark emergency button in place. But the part you will receive does not have this plastic housing. And it does not have this button. Which, I'm just going to go ahead and say, doesn't matter. Uh... I took this off just to demonstrate how easy it is. When you get the other one with a pair of pliers, you can remove this. It's just friction. It just sticks down on that piece of metal. That metal is on the new piece. You can pull this off and put it on. And that way, if you're ever in your trunk, <laughs> you get stuck. You can easily find it. But as you can see, there's nothing special about the glow and dark button. You just you would feel for it. Common sense, you would still be able to get out. Um, if if it was any harder to pull off, I, I probably wouldn't um, bother, but it was super easy with a pair of pliers or vice grips. It'll come off. Likewise, this housing, if you want to, you can remove it. I've actually already pulled it loose. See, it just fits down over these metal tabs and there's one on this side too 
that it fits down o over. And I've already pulled it loose. The only thing that's keeping it from coming off is one Phillips head screw. And it's this. You can see it's built into the body of the plastic housing. I didn't bother. I, I went ahead and installed the new piece on mine. And I don't think it's worth bothering. But I did bother to mention it. So if you use the... Um, search term or the URL that I put in the link uh, in the description, it'll take you right to the Amazon choice, the exact part I got. So good luck. It's super easy. I did it in the parking lot. Um, it literally took no time at all. Um, so most of this was just to give you a heads up on how if you just open the box and you look at it, you go, oh man, these don't look identical. But it's just the housing and that thing, and you can move it over. So I think it's a smart purchase. There's no sense in spending 50 or, as the dealership told me today, $70 for the part, when for 22 you can get one that works. Thank you. Have a great day.